got snow. And so I'm just gonna be home for the So I'm gonna call this a catch up day. There's Ronti. You don't mind a snow day, do you? Not at all, you don't mind a snow day. Here is what's going on outside today. You can see, yep, and uh, it's still snowing a bit and it's just really cold. The high today is eight degrees. At some point, I'll probably have to go shovel. I don't know, man, I, I miss the days when the kids would come by and ask to shovel the driveway. That never happens anymore. I've been throwing stuff in here. I'm gonna get this uh, straightened up. First, I'm gonna sit here and pay a few bills. It is that time. I've gone through my old filing cabinet, got all the monthly bills out for the year. That's what all that is. I've been going through my cabinets and I'm getting ready to shred all of that. So that's gonna happen. I pulled out a few banker boxes from the closet here. I gotta get those positioned back in there. We moved a new computer and desk in here. So John has his corner and I have my corner. So. Uh, you can see this used to be up in my little craft room, um, but it's down here now, So, which is great, but now this room is a total disaster. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm just going to get this all straightened up. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. I am feeling completely overwhelmed, so I'll probably put on some music or uh, my, audi my audible book, uh, or it's a Kindle that I'm having. I'm using the Kindle Assist reader to uh, read it to me while I do other things. So uh, it does a pretty good job. much better. I do need to vacuum. And I've had a fire burning all morning. It just feels so good. Nice and cozy. And uh, I'm going to start dinner. I'm going to show you guys this really yummy recipe I found online. This is my first time cooking it, but I had a few leftovers or things I needed to use up. I'm just trying to use up my, my stores right now. I do, he said quietly and turned away. So according to the directions, I just have a tablespoon of the avocado oil, and I have really been enjoying this oil, and I put a tablespoon in here into a saute pan on medium-high heat, and I'm just letting that heat up. I'm going to add one pound of hamburger meat. You could use ground turkey, which I don't have. I wished I did, but I'm trying to use up what's in my fridge right now. So I'm going to use up this pound of hamburger meat, and I'm going to get this cooking for about eight to ten minutes until the hamburger meat is completely cooked cooked through. Hamburger meat in there. I did have to thaw this out, so it took took a little while because uh, it was in the freezer, but trying to clean up my freezer and just get rid of the, some of the stuff that's been in there for a while and just rotate my food. You know, we've got to keep our food rotated and just keep an eye on what we have. So the recipe does call for two pounds of ground beef, but this is a pound and a half, so that's all I have. Just gonna do it. And then uh, it's all browned. I went ahead and added um, three-fourths cup water and a, a quarter cup of taco seasoning. I made my own. If you go to the link in my description where I found the recipe, she has a recipe for homemade taco seasoning, and I pretty much just followed that. It's very simple. Uh, quite a few little seasonings in there, but I usually just make my own ta uh, taco seasoning. I don't. I never buy taco seasoning because I have so many seasonings and I usually have everything I need on hand. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook through a little bit and then, uh, then I'll be back for the next part. It called for a quarter cup of onion, but I am going to use the whole onion because we love onion and it's a small onion. So I'm just chopping this up. It called for two bell peppers. I don't have any fresh bell peppers. I bought a couple. I forgot I used them for another meal. Uh, so I just have some of these frozen peppers um, that I bought in a bag. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some of these. And then it called for two cans of diced tomatoes and and uh, pepper and so or, or chili um, peppers. So I 
only have one can of diced tomatoes, if you can believe that. I can't, I checked my, my, my overflow pantry and I don't have any more. Let, let me double check my other pantry, hold on. Yay, all right, I don't have to dice. I was getting ready to dice real tomatoes, but I found these, diced roasted garlic. Um, well, this one's no salted diced tomatoes and this has roasted garlic diced tomatoes. I don't have the ones with peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and drain these, add two cans of these and then uh, I'm going to use some of these peppers. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I won't, uh, yeah. So the bell peppers, the chopped onion, and the, the canned tomatoes drained, and some peppers. So this is all cooked up. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into my crock pot. And I'm using my small old crock pot. I have, this is a very old crock pot. I did drain this, but I added the water. You know, you can see that I added some, the water and, uh, oops. I need to make sure I get, scrape this pot real quick. Okay, so let me get my, my spoon here. Um, and now, like I said, this crock pot is old, but it works so well. Now I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna pour everything in here. I'm gonna add, uh, the tomatoes. Had to work with that. Okay, got my two cans of tomato in there. Um, I'm gonna add my onion. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oops. I'm using one hand. I usually don't cook quite this messy, but I'm cooking one-handed, trying to show you guys. Get that mixed up. And you, uh, like I said, you can cook this in the oven, but uh, I'm not. I decided to do it in the crock pot. Um, I'm gonna add about half of these, not the whole can. Yeah, I think that's enough. I'll put the rest of that in the fridge for another, uh, for another meal. And uh, these aren't the huge cans of peppers, in case you're, under, you're uh, curious. Uh, they are. What well, that's a four ounce can, so a couple ounces of peppers. And I'm gonna do some bell peppers next. It calls for, I think it said two bell peppers in the red and orange. I'm just a combination of all of them from my bag. I'll go ahead and, a little bit of frosty there. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off my bag. These are frozen, but I think they're gonna thaw very quickly once they, this crock pot gets completely heated up. And then that's, that's all there is to it right now. The next step is to cover this and cook it on four hours if you have it on low heat on your crock pot, or two hours uh, on high, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do uh, two hours on high because this took a little bit longer than I thought it would and I just kind of got busy cleaning the office and everything. So uh, I'm gonna do two hours on on high on the, in the crock pot. And then when I come back in a couple hours, I'll show you the next step. The next step is basically toppings. Now you can put this in the oven if you want in a casserole pan um, and just see the link in the description if, if you're interested in that. But I am gonna do it in the crock pot for two hours. So I'll bring you guys back when it's all done. It's already smelling good. So um, I'm a bit on the messy side here. Um, I'm going to, uh, it's, I've got that sitting over there cooking for a couple of hours. Um, I did end up moving my uh, air fryer and my Instant Pot over on the counter and I moved my um, canisters over here. I switched them because um, I, I try to keep the things, just depending on what I'm using on a regular basis, stays on my counter anymore, uh, rather than having to put things away every time, which is my preference, but because of the counter space that I have. Um, I just don't have the room to leave all my appliances out and I don't like the look of that anyway, but, um, but I do like to keep the couple appliances that I use most of the time. And um, so I'm, I'm gonna get, let that cook. And I did pull out a few things out of the fridge while I was, rum while I was uh, sort of going through my refrigerator, trying to find my peppers that I forgot that I had used. Um, because I used them in the beef stew that I made that was really good. 
um, I, since, since I couldn't find the, the bell peppers, um, I started going through the fridge, looking everywhere. And so I actually got my refrigerator cleaned out. Bonus. <laughs> so, um, so I pulled out some leftovers and things and uh, just checked expiration dates. So, you know, this is pretty much how uh, a lot of times how I get things done. <laughs> And so that feels really good. And I'm gonna just, uh, now I've got some containers I've gotta get cleaned up and I'm gonna get the dishwasher all loaded. I think I still have to unload it from yesterday though. Uh, so I'm gonna unload the dishwasher, get all these loaded up, wash the, clean, clean the things. I'm gonna get the coffee pot ready for tomorrow and get, uh, John's probably gonna have tonight's leftovers for his lunch tomorrow too, now that I think about it. So here I am, I'm already th thinking ahead about what to do for tomorrow. Um, this is kind of how I get through, you know, get through some of this stuff. So, yep. All right. So that's what's next. Uh, yep. I'll uh, check back in with you guys in just a bit. And I'll give you a closer look at the office uh, too. Um, it's, I'm really excited to finally get that done. Uh, it was just a mess because we had moved that desk down from the... Oh, what do you call it? I'm calling it the craft room, but you know, my craft, I'm not really like a, a crafter, like I don't sew and crochet. My crafting is journaling and reading, and I do some singing up there and my little karaoke corner. I'll show you guys that soon. I put a green screen up there too to have a little fun with, but I haven't used it yet. Um, that's my craft room. This is what I like to do. I have played around with the idea of maybe doing some junk journaling because I think that would be fun to get into, but I haven't tried it yet. But that's gonna be the room where I do those things. The home office is now the home office. That's where the business stuff gets done. And the fun stuff happens in the craft room. I'm just loving that distinction. So so that's what I'm doing there. And yeah, so let me, uh, let me get that going and get this kitchen cleaned up real quick and I'll uh, show you guys the casserole here in a bit. <laughs> smells delicious. So here is the office. I do have a few things here. Let me just uh, turn these over because these are actual bills I've got to pay. Um, that's all that's left though. And got that all cleared off. And John's area is pretty much cleared off. And I got all those papers. You can still see the little shred. I was shredding a whole bunch. So I got a bunch of stuff shredded today. And got all those papers put away. And my little Roscoe is helping. Um, got my, that's my my, can't, my Sony ZV-1 that I'm usually on. I'm just on the GoPro today because it's just so easy to carry it around. And it's, uh, the stabilization on here is just incredible. So when I'm moving around a lot, I like to use this one because I just think it's easier on you to watch it. <laughs> so, um, yep, yeah, so that's what I'm using right now which you can kind of tell, but uh, still kind of thinking of getting the 360, but right now I haven't been outside enough where I would use it, so. Uh, and then there's little Roscoe, my little helper. But this has been great. This little room um, is just gonna be a nice work area for John and me. And, you know, we've got, he got me another screen for Christmas. He bought me this new screen. So I, I had a smaller double screen, but now he got me a bigger one. So I have my two big screens now and my my little, what you call it, keyboard and mouse go under there. And then I have my uh, my webcam, which I hardly ever use, but I might use that. I haven't done a live in a while, but let me know if you guys are into that kind of thing. I've thought about doing a live maybe once a month or something, and like let's just like support each other and getting stuff done. I just haven't decided uh, yet. So there's there's the room, and I am so glad it's done. Feels wonderful. Let me know if there's a room in your home that you are just avoiding. Uh, I'm still avoiding the closet. Those are a lot of pictures and just uh, just stuff from my mom and my mother-in-law, like boxes of cookbooks and just things like that that I just haven't had the bandwidth to to go through because it's kind of emotional. And, um, you know, so, but I've been going through a lot of stuff, so I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at. So John's home, we have the news in the background. I'm sorry about that. Life is going on here, but um, this looks really good. It's been cooking a couple of hours. 
and the peppers are tender. Everything smells wonderful. So I'm just going to add some shredded cheese to the top, and I'm not measuring, uh, but I'm just going to cover the top with some cheddar, uh, shredded cheese. And I think about any cheese you want to use is fine. Again, I have the link to uh, to this recipe in my description. I did find it online, and it just looks so good. It is keto friendly, but I'm going to do a little twist here. It's not going to be keto for anybody who who's not on keto. I'm not on keto, uh, but I do like to sort of do low carbs uh, when I can. And I'm going to just cover this, and I'm going to let it cook for five minutes. So I'm just taking some taco shells and placing them in my air fryer for a few minutes. I'm going to get these nice and uh, just a bit crisp. And so this is the twist. This is the non-keto part. But you don't have to do this. But I just thought it would be it would be kind of nice. So I'm just going to get this going. And I'm just going to cook it on about 400 degrees for about just maybe three or four minutes. I didn't even bother setting the timer. I just did adjust the temperature up to 400 and I just let it go for about five minutes. So I'm going to arrange these in my bowl, just kind of broke them up and arrange them in my bowl and I'll just uh, serve the, um, the topping on top. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And this smells so good and you can see the cheese just melted perfectly. Ah, oh, so good. I did slice some avocado, uh, so I'm going to top it with a little bit of uh, a little bit of that. We like to have sliced avocado with just uh, we just sprinkle it uh, pe with pepper and have that with crackers and wine for have, like just a little bit of a relaxation after John gets off of work. Um, I have a little bit. I need some more sour cream. I'm going to have to put this on my shopping list. That's dinner. I'm going to take it over to John and let's see what he thinks about it. So what do you think, John? Very good. Yep. I like it. Yeah, it's yeah, good, huh? Tasty, tasty. So dinner was really good, <laughs> and I am so glad I got the office done. I felt so much better, and this was not the day that I had planned to have, but hey, I'm all for a snow day now and then, so this was actually, this was actually nice. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, and I got a lot done, so, and it, it just felt, it was relaxing. I didn't feel rushed. I want to try to really get into this groove where I'm I'm getting things done, but I'm I'm doing it on my time, so to speak. I'm not rushing and trying to get things done because I I have company coming or like that crisis kind of cleaning. I just don't want to do that. That's that suck it up buttercup kind of energy. I don't want to do it that way. I really like being more mindful and moving a little bit more slowly and thinking about what it is I want to get done. Um, and it really does help me to listen to an audible book, this, well, Kindle book today. Uh, the, the voice that, you know, it's a Kindle uh, reading assist through my ALEXA app, and, and it does a pretty decent job. It, there's a few words that you kind of get used to it. It's not the same as audible. But you get used to it, kind of the AI voice. Um, but it works for me. Um, I've been able to, to to make it work. So the book I'm reading is, is kind of funny, but it is a little, it's, I mean, I did not realize how paranormally kind of stuff, it, it, but if you, you know, like, and I like Harry Potter, so I'm, I'm comfortable with it. But uh, it, it's, but it's funny. I mean, it's like a midlife, magical midlife something. And this, this gal, she uh, goes through a divorce. She ends up moving in with her parents for like a, a very short time because she, she just can't do it. And then she ends up becoming caretaker of the Ivory House, which is, oh, there's just a lot of paranormal kind of stuff in the little town that she, has, that she moves to. And that's her job. She's a caretaker for this house. And I'm still listening to it, but it's really good. <laughs> I'm getting into it. So, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, but it's nice to be able to read some fiction for a change, not a how to be more productive or how to, like a self-help book. I can, I kind of get addicted to self, self-help self sometimes, improve self-improvement. You know, I think when I was working, 
it was my job to kind of stay ahead of the trends. And I forget, I don't have to do that anymore. I mean, I'm like, I'm sort of sinking into this whole idea of retirement. Yeah, I'm starting to, it starts to, starting to feel really good. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to enjoy that. So, all right, I am going to clear off here. And uh, I hope you guys are doing well, though. Let me know. I hope something I did today, something I said, was of help to you. And do try that recipe. It's really good, very simple. Uh, and I'll be back in a couple of days with another video. Take good care. All about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl?